What's up everybody? My name's Ali and welcome back to Kit Guru. So recently we've been checking out some great TKL keyboards, but they have been towards the upper end of affordability. Now ExtraFi have swooped in aiming to change that with the Swedish designed K4 RGB TKL keyboard. Now Dominic recently reviewed the ExtraFi M4 RGB mouse over on our website kitguru.net and he thought it was great, but how will the accompanying keyboard hold up? Well, let's find out. So released at the end of April 2020, the ExtraFi K4 RGB TKL mechanical keyboard is available in three colorways. We have black, white, and a retro finish with an RRP of 99 euros. So we're looking at roughly around the 90 pound mark. Pricing wise, it is still on the higher end of what I'd deem affordable, but in comparison to other TKL keyboards on the market right now with similar specs, this is actually a really good price point. Just to clarify for those that don't know, TKL stands for 10 key less, so there is no number pad, which means it's got a more compact design, and many FPS and esports players prefer this design. So we have a nice and compact box that clearly shows the keyboard off on the front. We have some useful information on the back, and there's some foam padding for protection during shipping. The first thing that I actually noticed is just how good these keyboards look. The pictures don't do them justice at all. The whiteboard is a brilliant clean white that would look excellent in a dentist's secret gaming room. The retro colorway is just gorgeous and it looks absolutely the part with the ExtraFi K4 mouse. From looks alone, I have to give it to them, ExtraFi, you've really smashed out of the park here. I'd usually save RGB until a little while later, but I just can't do that today. Plugging in the K4 RGB TKL just blew my mind. The 16.8 million color RGB is just stunning, and the animation upon first plugging it in is a really nice touch too. I dare say this is the best RGB that I've seen on any keyboard regardless of price. And well, that's it for today's review. For the next 10 minutes, we're gonna stare at the RGB. Okay, well, maybe not, but we will go over the RGB again in a bit more detail later. The next thing I notice is sadly a negative. The two meter long USB cable is non-detachable. It's braided and out of the box, it's very slightly frayed in areas. On the whiteboard, the cable also looks out of place. The board is so dazzlingly white, and yet the cable is an off gray color that looks a bit old. Shame it wasn't the same sparkling white or even a silver color. The feel of the cable is quite nice though, and the kinks almost fully come out. The lack of a detachable cable is a shame as many TKL users take these boards to events for easy portability and you're more likely to damage it if it's permanently attached. Going back to the board itself, we have a minimalistic design which I'm a huge fan of. Nothing super aggressive that screams gamer, just a nice clean aesthetic and design. I love the retro look with the mixed colored keycaps featuring that gray, dark gray and red accents. Whilst we're touching on the keycaps looks, I want to point out the very clear font that they have also used. This makes it easy to read and it looks very sharp. The space bar features ExtraFi's logo in the center and above the arrow keys, we can also see their logo on the faceplate. The entire board feels very premium, and I kind of don't know why something being heavy makes you think premium, but it does work here because the keyboard is over a kilogram in weight. Now it is made from a metal plate construction, so there is basically no flex whatsoever. It feels really sturdy. The finish on the board looks very hard wearing too, and I'm glad to see not a single piece of gloss in sight because I hate that. <laughs> I really dislike gloss. This board isn't a fingerprint magnet. Flipping the board over, we have a textured pattern with a large ExtraFi logo towards the base. In the center, we have a really nice clean sticker showing the serial number and a helpful reminder to download the manual from the website if needed. We have two single height adjustable flip out feet and four rubber non-slip pads. On the edges of the feet, they are also rubber, which stops slipping too. 
For me, with the feet flipped out, the height is perfect. Extra if I market the K4 TKL as the pro level keyboard for all gamers for the best bang for buck with no excuses. So let's check out some features that this keyboard has to offer. The first thing is that the keyboard is plug and play. There's absolutely no software at all because everything can be done via key combinations and there's a lot of them. Luckily, they're very well placed and easy to navigate. As you can see under certain keys, there's extra icons to be used with a function key. Every F key can be used for media keys and more. We have the standard media keys here with volume control, but something I haven't seen natively in a long time are dedicated shortcuts for opening your default apps for things like Windows Media Player, your emails, your web browser, and even a calculator. Pressing these makes them launch instantly too. These are a welcome addition for me as usually we just get media and volume controls on the majority of keyboards these days. But that's not it though, there are more. We have a Windows lock feature, something I always use, but we also have a funny one, one that locks all of the keys. At first, I thought this was a bit random, but thinking back to when I had pet cats about 10 years ago, they constantly walked all over my keyboard when I wasn't at my PC. And this could have saved a lot of hassle for me, and I think it is actually a useful feature for some people, especially those with small children or pets. If you've got to get up and grab a drink or something like that, you can just lock the keyboard and they won't delete your work or anything else like that. They've almost thought of everything here, so good job, Extrify. Next, we have absolutely tons of RGB options and configuration. On the right hand side of the board you can change the stunning RGB options via the function key with the arrow keys and keys above that as well. You can change from wave, breathing, custom color zones, fixed colors, touch effects along with brightness, effect speed and so much more. Honestly I'm really impressed with how much RGB customization they've managed to cram into a board with no software whatsoever. Extrafy have of course aimed this board at gamers and no gaming keyboard would even be a gaming keyboard without these features. So don't despair, the K4 does indeed have 100% anti-ghosting, full N key rollover and even a thousand hertz polling rate. Let's check out the keys themselves. So the keycaps are extra thick ABS keycaps and they are not PBT. But there is a reason for this. Extra Fi are trying to keep the cost as low as possible to create the best keyboard they can at a great price and PBT caps are expensive. If you want PBT caps, then you can just purchase them yourself and you know swap them out. The caps do look great, but do expect them to wear out a little bit quicker because they're not PBT. On some caps, you can see some very minor imperfections, but ultimately this doesn't really bother me that much. What is weird though, is the finish on the caps. I can't really explain it perfectly, but they almost feel chalky to touch. Imagine replacing your caps with Rennies, and that's essentially what they feel like. But strangely, I really like this. They're not grease magnets and they're very smooth, but not slippery either. It's kind of hard to explain, you'll have to feel them yourselves. Underneath we have mechanical kale red RGB switches with an impressive lifespan of 70 million clicks. And removing some caps, you'll notice that the RGB is incredible because the LED is actually right on the top rather than inside or under the switch. Now these switches are insanely smooth. They're actually smoother than my own keyboard's Cherry MX Red switches, and they're quieter too. So ExtraFi informed us that they use oil on the stabilizers to reduce sound and to provide a nicer feeling along with foam cushioning to reduce sound even further. It works. These are very, very silent, especially the spacebar, enter, and backspace keys. The only downside is for those three keys in particular, they do feel kind of spongy. This did bother me at first, but after a bit of testing, I actually don't mind it too much. However, this may be an issue for some people, but the rest of the keys feel great, aren't bungee at all, and have a nice clip to them. Now let me give you a sound test of the K4 RGB TKL compared to my own keyboard that has Cherry MX Reds in it.
you can definitely see that they've put some time and effort into making this board as silent as possible. This keyboard is much better suited for gaming though, rather than typing. Until I tested this keyboard out, I never really knew how much I needed the damp and sound from the spacebar with playing FPS games and things like that. When you're running, jumping, and just constantly hitting that spacebar, you're not getting that really loud clackering noise that you normally get. In games, I had no problem whatsoever. The keys responded quickly and the anti-ghosting and a thousand hertz polling rate made sure that every keystroke worked quickly. Paired with the TKL design choice, I found it perfect for playing FPS games with wide mouse movements. This is definitely a gaming keyboard and I wouldn't recommend it for anything other than that. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the Extrafy K4 TKL RGB keyboard. There's just so many design choices that I connect with and I love the simplicity. The RGB is just so beautiful. The ease of use, the features and functions, the strange but satisfying chalky keys, the minimal flex and solid construction. It's great. There are a few negatives though, like the non-detachable cable. It's kind of off color as well on the white version at least, the lack of custom macro support, and for some, they may see that the ABS keycaps and spongy large keys a bit of a con, but for me, I see the choices as justified since Extrafy wanted to make a plug and play keyboard with great specs for an affordable price point, and I honestly do think that they have achieved that. What do you guys think of the Extrafy K4 RGB? Let us know down in the comments below. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up, make sure to ring that notification bell, check out our merchandise down below, and don't forget to check out our website daily for tech news. I've been Andy, this is Kit Guru, and I'll see you in the next one.